Hi guys, good evening, Sanbonani. Uh, it is uh, the day before uh, Good Friday and we've just finished packaging with my son for the event that we're going to have tomorrow with the kids um, in um, one of the townships here in Cape Town. Uh, we're going to be in, in Kukuletsu tomorrow to just celebrate with the kids and they can run around looking for some eggs. We play some games and they get little gifts. So the usual, um, in fact, uh, with Hands of Love, we always have two events that involve kids. That will be in December for Christmas. Then we we'll package little presents for them and we'll play games and they have a beautiful Christmas. Something similar we do um, with Easter. They run around looking for eggs, we play games, and they get little gifts with small and chippies and, um, you know, um, just nice goodies for kids to have, right? But this year it got me thinking that um, maybe the toys that we give them are not that much of a need. Yes, they're kids, but um, I figured there's more need for things that they can use um, than toys for, for an example we went to um one of uh, one of the houses one of the grandmas in um it was in kailicha a few weeks ago we we got a, a message that she's in distress the family needs food and whatnot but when we got there she lives in a shack when we got there we realized that the situation is actually bad she lives with four grandchildren in a very tiny two-bedroom shack there's no furniture it's dark as you would know it's they don't have much but realizing also that the kids don't have clothes the kids don't have toothbrushes the kids don't have um you know toothpaste so it's like little things that you and i have that they don't have so this is what's inspired us um buying colgate or other toothpaste this time around to go and give to the kids right which um as well as toothbrushes which i hope would be helpful to 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 the kids i think it will be more beneficial than a toys um that was um so this is my son who was helping me come come say hi who was helping me um with the packaging super super excited for that um yeah thank you now you can leave <laughs> i'll be with you now babe so as we were packaging these things with my son so he asked me a question so what sort of toothpaste did you guys use back in the day i remember very well that there were days that my parents didn't have money to buy colgate or toothpaste as you call it and we would use umlauta and my mother would would make us use umlauta i don't know if you guys know what umlauta is umlauta is um you know a stove the stove back in the days the black stoves that we used to that that we used to cook right the one that you put coal um, and you cook on before we had electric um, stoves so we would actually use those right to um, to make um, I think please hold on baby you're disturbing me can you please thank you love you all right so uh, kids so anyways um, Yes, so we would use them lot, huh? and we would definitely, and that will help to brush our teeth because I come from a home where my parents were not rich. Um, they were trying their best to make ends meet to make sure that we are um, taken care of, we are catered for um, to their to their best of abilities right they did but towards the end of the month i mean it was seven of us and sometimes you find that we're sharing one or two tubes for the whole month and obviously a tube of um toothpaste for about seven people two um in fact nine including my mom and dad so that wouldn't be enough right so we would run after and she would make us use uh umlaut. i remember that thing used to make our teeth <laughs> like white they would be clean it used to leave a, a very untasteful taste though but it did the job and and i just it just got me thinking and i was saying to my son that you should be grateful that you don't have to go through that you know that mommy is able to to um to buy a toothpaste for you right so that you'll be able to to brush your teeth every morning um and you don't have to think about extra um you know extra little things that needs to be done to 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 get around that so um yeah i'm excited about tomorrow i'm excited to go and see the kids i'm excited for the plays that we for the, the games that we're gonna play with them um yeah so we we created little packages 
uh, so it's a toothpaste and, and some chippies i specifically didn't put um lollipops or sweets this time around because the sweets and the lollipops are the ones that actually kill the kids um uh teeth right so i'm trying to be a little bit intentional about what we're doing so that we don't promote um you know uh sweets are not healthy in any case you know we're trying to make sure that they're healthy as much as they can so what we did we also bought like packets of of um of apples to give to them instead of sweets to make sure that they're healthy um and you would know there's like shops everywhere where they can just go with one rand or two rand and get sweets and hence their teeth are also not always so um uh so healthy and so strong and and so we're wanting to promote that so yeah we are looking forward to that uh our packaging this year is not so great because i figured i'd rather have i'd rather have more kids that get these packages than um than to buy fancy packaging which they obviously going to rip off immediately and go and throw it away right to get what's inside so I'd rather give them these these were just this just a wrapper um rather plastic that my sons use that my son use for um for fruits when he goes to school but i just figured this will be helpful um and um yeah i'm looking forward to tomorrow and yeah i'm out have a wonderful easter to everybody that is going away and traveling safe travels to everybody that is staying um to their places and going to churches may god bless you may god um, be with you and yeah look we'll see you guys on the other side of easter and enjoy the holidays everybody deserves a break cheers guys i'm out miss p